The Witcher 3 is a massive, beautiful, complicated game to even the most seasoned of player. So for all the people who are new to the game, here's a short rundown of what's going to happen in the game. This will contain the story of forbidden lovers, assassination of kings, and the oncoming apocalypse. This is Geralt and his story. Geralt is having recurring nightmares about his long lost daughter Ciri being in danger. She is on the run from a powerful foe called the Wild Hunt. This dream urges Geralt and his mentor Vesemir to venture out into the war-torn lands and try to find her. The land of Temeria is in chaos, with two nations raging war over the land. Redania, led by the vicious tyrant Radovid, his plans are to wipe out Temeria clean of all non-humans. This means Geralt and his friends, so this is bad news for you. The other warring nation is Nilfgaard, otherwise known as the Black Ones. The reason is just the same as any other power-hungry nation. More money, and more power. The Black Ones are led by a man named Emir von Everest, a wise but somewhat evil old man. The two armies war over Temeria, leaving the land devastated, infrastructure in ruins, and the populace in a crippled state of famine. On his path to find his daughter, Gerald runs into many friends and enemies, arguably, and most importantly, Yennefer and Triss. Yennefer and Triss are Geralt's ex and current girlfriends. They both belong to a powerful group called the Lodge of Sorceresses. This group is home to only the most powerful magic wielders in the land, and their cause is devoted to keeping the general populace safe from anyone who abuses magic. Speaking of magic, I should talk about the monsters, and the conjunction of spheres. Hundreds of years ago, the world of Urn collided, and the beings from each realm wandered in from one to another. This led monsters invading Temeria. Fast forward hundreds of years and the monster population has been reduced massively thanks to a created species called witches. It was witches' jobs to exterminate monsters and keep people safe. Witches were adored and loved by Temerian society when monsters were a bigger threat, but these days not so much. With hardly any monsters left to kill, aside from a few contracts here and there, the witches are seen as outcasts and generally despised by humans. This is also partly down to Redania, who I mentioned earlier. Now only the toughest or smartest monsters live, including the Wild Hunt. The Wild Hunt are an ancient elven race. They believe they are superior to any other life known in the worlds. Not much is explained about the White Frost, other than it destroys planets and kills anything in its way. The Wild Hunt are pursuing Ciri, the daughter of Geralt, because she possesses something called the Elder Blood, a gift passed down from generations, powerful enough to travel between worlds. Eredin, the leader of the Wild Hunt needs her blood to try and stop the White Frost and retake his home world. The race of finding Ciri takes up a large portion of the main storyline and takes Geralt into dangerous situations, meeting interesting characters and fighting the most dangerous monsters along the way. This is just a small sample of the world of The Witcher 3. The Witcher 3 doesn't always tell its story through dialogue and cutscenes, but rather through placing and arranging objects, details and music in a way that lets the player come to its own conclusion. The small hut of the old woman in White Orchard is a fantastic example. The story of what happened here is never told to the player, but the body, burned objects, blood, me mess and clutter with a small note is enough to give the a player a small insight into what might have happened. The rest is up to interpretation. I see this in so many games I play now, mostly Bethesda games like Skyrim and New Vegas, but I wouldn't have seen these if it wasn't for The Witcher 3. The Witcher 3 is the best game I've ever played, and like I said, it's a game I will be comparing all other games within its genre to. I hope I have convinced you to give it a try and spread the word of the game.